Tonight, we're less than six weeks away from voters heading to the polls, so getting those battleground votes is becoming crucial. Today, Vice President Kamala Harris was in Pittsburgh outlining her economic plans at Carnegie Mellon University. KDK's Mamie Ba was there. We have an extraordinary opportunity to chart a new way forward. To a destination where presidential candidate Kamala Harris hopes to make the American dream attainable for everyone. Of an opportunity economy, which is lowering costs. And once she sees boosting the economy, her supporters support the vision. Everybody doesn't want the American dream attainable for everyone. Certain, say, certain people they want it for, but not for others. And that's not fair because we're all American citizens. With just weeks to go until Election Day, Harris has been laying out her economic agenda, assisting first-time homebuyers, taking on corporate landlords, banning price gouging, capping the cost of prescription drugs, and the child tax credit, just to name a few. The most important pillars of the plan for voters here include expanding manufacturing and providing support to cities where steel mills once ran supreme. You know, there's an old saying that the best way to predict the future is to invent it. Well, that is the story of the Steel City. Mark Cuban, a Pittsburgh native, was at today's event. The businessman supports Harris and believes her proposals will have a positive impact on entrepreneurship. Even though the child credit doesn't seem like much from a business perspective, it truly is because it means every entrepreneur, I mean, Either sex. In the beginning of Harris's campaign, there was a lot of criticism for a lack of clarity around her specific plans as many tied them to Bidenomics. It's been a month since she and her running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, clarified. Now, Harris says, it's up to voters to decide. The American people face a choice between two fundamentally very different paths for our economy. I intend to chart a new way forward and grow America's middle class. Donald Trump intends to take America backward. In the past, former President Donald Trump has said, why hasn't VP Harris done this during her time serving with President Joe Biden? And she said they were busy recovering the economy. Reporting from CMU, Mamie Pa, KDK, TV News.